Okay, I'm going to put another conrod and piston back together. I'm just going to show you how I measured the shells. Now this is a new one by made by Cobel Colbel Schmidt, I believe. Uh, that's the old one. So after searching for a while, I needed to find out which ones I needed. It was a bit of a struggle now. OEM ones are, well, they're £23 each. They're not exactly cheap for what they are. But this is how I did my research, shall we say. So I measured the original, which is not 0 0.70 inches, that's the width. I then measured the thickness which should be 0 0.05 inch put that back in there so it's 0 0.05 inch so the new ones are double checked So 0 0.70, as you can see, the same. And then we measure the, the thickness, which should be 0 0.05, which it is. So the next thing, I'm going to try and stay out of focus here because my shadow will... Um, Block your view. Okay, let's just mark in there so we get this clean. Oops. Bit of tissue flaking off there. So we get one of the new ones which has to locate in the tab. Just gotta make sure it's all sitting level, which it is. And then we get the remaining and do the same with the end cap. Is that the new one too? Sure. Again. We fit this in the locating pin. A little bit of tissue out. Again, you make sure it's all level and these only fit one way so be like that so I've actually marked mine with arrows as you can see I marked that number one and that's pointing towards the engine so that's how oh, that's how that will go so I'm going to put that to one side for now because I want to get the piston in. So I've got the piston. Now you see this arrow on the piston here. That needs to be pointing towards the front of the engine. So your conrod has to go in the same direction. So we'll fit our conrod in there. We will get its... Uh, is it dowel pin? We'll call it a dowel pin. So this one's already still got its uh, o ring, uh, its snap ring in. So we'll slide it in from the other side. 
no real force needed, they slide in easily. There we go. So that's in now, let's just double check. Arrow pointing to the front. Arrow pointing to the front. I've labelled it number one um, for it to go in cylinder one, but don't think it should matter. So the next bit, we need to put the uh, snap ring back in to hold it in place. Now this is how I put the snap rings in. really go twang so <laughs> as you see okay let's build the next piston so Arrow pointing towards the engine. Get our con rod. Has to be pointing towards the engine. Double check, yeah. Get our snap ring. I'm going to try and do this on camera and so you can actually see it because if I move in, just my shadow gets in the way. They're so fiddly these, but they can be done without any. I think, I think there's a tool you can get to do it, but you can do it without. How I do it is that I wedge it in. There we go. Easy as that. that. The last one I did didn't go as that easy. It twanged out about 50 times, but got lucky with that one. There's our second to last piston. I'll do the last one and then we'll uh, fit the last two. Then we need to go underneath and fit all the caps and talk them up. And I do need to give the um, journals are good wipe as well because unfortunately they've been uh, they've been compromised with a little bit of surface rust so I need to try and polish that off and then get the sump on so I can at least protect the bottom 